you guys, we need to talk because I just found a tool that might be game changer for designers that are working on mockups for websites or apps. This might be a tool that could change the game of everything. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you so much for being here. Super excited today, as you can tell from the beginning, I just found a tool that I have not even tried yet. I wanted to try it with you guys real time, give you my honest opinion on if it actually works and if AI, especially in the mock-up world, is going to be game changer. So this tool in specific, this is not sponsored or anything. I don't even remember how I came across this website, but I was doing some like work one day. It popped up and I was like, wait a minute, they have a AI design tool. So I wanted to try it out with you guys. So it's called UI z a i d so it's u u wizard something like that um and it's called u wizard.io i will leave the name on the screen maybe possibly at the end if we decide that it actually works well but i wanted to try it with you guys before i even sit here and recommend anything so i'm super excited um basically i don't even know where to begin with it so we're just going to go step by step through everything together so i have the website open i'm screen recording with you guys but i wanted to just sign up for the free account and see what exactly re it requires everything like that so basically it's claiming that it can take i was looking at this specific area here it can take your drawing of the website mock-up and potentially turn it into a clickable prototype so that's really cool and also i was reading that the prototype can be really easy for clients to like leave feedback and stuff so if this really works this is why i'm saying i think it might be game changer could be a really awesome tool to utilize as a designer and i love the fact that it's not taking away our specialty of designing the mock-up like drawing it we're still going to have a lot of like say in what it's creating but it's really going to like save us some time and steps if it works so I'm going to go over here to sign up for free and I'm not sure if it's going to have me get the app on my phone to like take the picture if I just airdrop the picture here. So we'll have to try that out. Okay, creating the account now. It's kind of cool. So you get a free, it's a free account. I got to go do my email ver verification. But while I do that, what I read is that it has a free account, but you can only do two projects per month, I think, which... I mean, if you're only taking two clients per month, that's definitely doable, but definitely not very many projects per month. So, okay, so I did that verification. Now it's asking questions like, what kind of work do you do? I would probably say the first one is more around the lines of what I'm doing. I'm not officially a UX or UI designer. I don't claim to be, but I would say that's more similar to like website designing. So I'll do that. And then let's do... Um, we'll just do team manager. As a team manager, what are you planning to use this for? I'm going to say for work. Just me. And then really cool. What's the company's website? I guess I'll put my website in. Let's just say that. Design a new mobile app or website project. Next. Deploying your workspace. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see like what it looks like inside. Everything like that. Okay, find the best template for your project. So starting off, it looks like they have a bunch of templates to kind of choose from, which is really cool. So you can get like website template, link project. There's a lot of choices in here, which is really cool. First impressions of the templates are definitely that they have a lot of options. I don't know how like uniquely artistic and custom these are, especially for like my kind of specialty and what I do, but it could be a really great start for a website. Start with this one. Oh, this is pro. I see. Okay. I was like, this is a little too good to be true. I feel like that's a lot of choices. So I am guessing pro is the ones you have to pay for. Generate with auto designer. I think that's what we want to try because it's going to start doing that just based on AI. So let's start with that. It says it's in a beta testing thing. So um, something to keep in mind. Describe your project in plain English. Okay, so for this, let's actually go find a fake project. Website. Industry. Hmm, let's do 
food because I love food generates checkpoint that's weird let's just stick with that okay iceberg cafe describe your company I'm just gonna pretend it's my company for our company that makes and distributes vegan food our main product is made of the world's top chefs and we'll talk on onions as men we want to convey a sense of mystery while at the same time being old-fashioned interesting generation there but um describe a design style pick keywords or both so since we're going for more of a male audience let's say masculine let's say dark let's see what it does with that oh look, never mind the dark's below masculine minimal creative all right let's generate the project let's see let's just do a web device and let's see what it creates okay i hate when websites do this when they say that it's that they make you do all the information and then they make you pay like that's my pet peeve i hate that so much let's see the plan options let's see what we have going on here um, okay i figured it out basically you're going to just start from scratch and i will show you how to then scan your image and see what it creates but first off we need to draw the wireframe which is something i have not done yet so I'm going to do that really quickly and I'll kind of show you guys the basic wireframe I draw just to see what they create based on that simple drawing. So let's do it. Okay guys, I drew Okay guys, I drew a super simple wireframe. This is like really really basic, but I wanted to just see like what it creates from something really simple. So, it has the top menu here with a social icon area, menu. I want an image behind the menu, so we'll see if it can create that based on my notes. I want some product images review section and a footer. So not a very big website page, but I just wanted to see what it creates. Also, I think I'm gonna go off um, from that original brief that we got because this is not, we don't need to do those same steps. So don't think we do. So let's go back to my screen here. And then I believe we're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna start by doing a web. Um, I don't wanna do mobile yet since I'm on my computer. I just wanna see what it creates based on this. So opening up web and then once you're in here you can go to the magic tool and turn your hand-drawn sketches and wireframes into designs so this is the one that we want and as you can see there's some other sketches there i think i need to do that little x for the image part so let me do that real quick because i think that's something that they um kind of require so let me that probably just helps the thing know what's an image and what isn't okay this is a good experiment because it might just not be upload image using your phone by scanning the qr code so i'm going to try this qr code thing and see if that works better use photo upload image okay so i'm uploading image through my phone scan the qr code okay cool so it just connects with the computer that's kind of cool if this drawing doesn't work though, it might not be a great tool because I don't know how much more simple you can go from that of what I created. Hey, looking promising. Um, output screen, I wanna do web. It keeps making me answer that. Now let's import it. All right, now it says processing really small font right there. So let's wait. All right, this one's moving a little faster. Let's see if it actually create something like super basic okay interesting that's very interesting and i'm so glad i'm doing this with you guys because i think a lot of us are so worried that ai is going to like take over but like this is proof 
that it's really, it's got a lot of work to do. I will say that because this is so not, I mean, it got like the images right, probably because I did little X for some of them, but like, this is not good. Maybe I'm not using it right, but I feel like if it's going to claim to turn sketches into a website page, it should work a little better than that. That was underwhelming. I feel like this does not look, doesn't look good. It doesn't look unique. It looks so basic. I would have to do all the work. Like, um, it doesn't save me much time because I'm going to have to redo the whole page. So I don't think that part really works well. Maybe their auto designer would work well from like the, the text description. That would probably help. But the wireframe scanner, not really great. What is the screenshot scanner? To get started with creating screens, you can try one of the examples. Next screen, don't worry next time. Okay, so maybe you can take like an inspiration screenshot and import it that way. Let's try that. I'm gonna go to my website that I'm gonna be launching soon, the test homepage, and we will just screenshot that, upload it, and see what it creates from that. That'd be kind of an interesting experiment. I'll take a screenshot of this. Let's try that. Okay, that one was a lot better. That's kind of cool. Okay, I would say that the screenshot option is way better um, because it actually made all of this editable text, which is really cool. Made like the boxes for me. I would have to say the screenshot one is definitely better. Um, just kind of playing around with it it's kind of cool because if you don't have like adobe xd or figma this might be a great option for like actually putting together your website mock-ups um but yeah i mean the screenshot thing's kind of cool i will give credit for that part i think that's like really nice if you have like an inspiration image and you want to save a little time on the mock-up that kind of takes away from like the uniqueness of creating your own design but i mean if you wanted like specific elements from it that'd be kind of a cool option so I would say the screenshot scanner works way better than the wireframe scanner, definitely. Um, I mean, they have all these options in here. They have the text assistant. Um, they have the focus predictor, which is kind of cool. It can predict where people would be looking on the page. Let's try that actually for this. I mean, it's a really simple page, so I don't quite know what it's gonna say. All right, interesting. So it gives like a heat map of like where people might be clicking or looking. That's kind of interesting. Um, I mean, it's kind of simple though. People are gonna read the text or look at the elements. Like, that's kind of an intuitive thing to know. Ooh, you can create a theme from an image. That's cool. They have a bunch of good examples here. Let's try pulling in one of my client's mood boards and see what it creates from that. That would be a cool experiment. Let's try that. I just screenshotted my client's mood board. I really wanna see what theme it creates for this. Pretty fast loading speed, I must say, on that. Interesting. Okay, so it basically just pulled some random colors from the mood board. Guys, I gotta say I'm not impressed. I'm not that impressed with this tool. I think like the idea of it's awesome. It really intrigued me. That's why I, intrigued me. That's why I wanted to show you guys and like try it out. But I just don't know if it's like really working great. Let's try pasting in my website and see what happens then. I don't know though, I just feel like it's not doing very much for me, like, doesn't save me time, not really working well, so let's try doing this, create a theme, I don't know, I think it has a lot of work, <laughs> a lot of work to make this actually helpful, I don't think it's really that amazing, um, but I wanted to show this with you guys real time, give you my honest opinion on like, AI tools and like designers and um, whether it worked or didn't, like it's probably gonna happen in the future. There's gonna be really awesome tools to utilize, save us time, but there's just a long way to go until we get to that point. So yeah, I'm super glad that I tried this with you guys today. I'm sorry it wasn't maybe as exciting as you thought it would be or that the tool isn't really something that is super helpful, but I'm actually really glad that I could show you like a truthful, honest, 
AI experience. I mean, maybe for some people it can work really well, or I think the screenshot scanner is pretty cool, but I just feel like having custom unique designs is the best part of working with a experience designer and investing in it. Like you're gonna get something really unique, really awesome, really artsy that fits your vibe all around. And I just don't think AI is there yet with that. Um, I think it's gonna take a long time for it to even get close to that, especially for like these mock-up designs and pulling in the branding and making it all flow together. That really takes like the human eye and the human experience to know how to make that flow and how to make it like look really nice. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this and I definitely recommend checking it out on your own just to see if you have any success with it. If you do, I'd love to hear in the comments down below if it worked for you, if it didn't work for you. It's a free tool at first, so it's kind of fun to just play around with and get to like know AI, get kind of comfortable with it because it's definitely not going anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it so much if you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and let me know if you know of any other AI tools that you guys use on an everyday basis, specifically for design, not so much the text thing. I think the design ones I'm more intrigued by because I just want to see like if it really compares to like an actual designer with like a unique touch. I just don't think it does, but let me know if you've ever experimented with one that actually works really well. I'd love to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one.